Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another tag, um, and it's called the um, drugstore products that I regret buying, uh, and there's 10 of them. Uh, so I'm going to get started, but instead of telling you all the products that I hate, I'm also going to tell you a replacement product that I bought instead because I thought that one was better. It's just... I, I don't know if you can see like what it looks like on the inside. It's so dusty from the bronzer that you probably can't. But basically, like from here down, it's just like cake bronzer. It's just all like dust. And I had I had a real problem with this. I thought it was just um a bad one, but then I went to go buy another one thinking, oh, if I buy another one, then I'll get a good one. And I could just see like it cracking like in the I mean maybe I just have bad luck twice but I, I don't think you can have bad luck you know like that and I love it it gives me like the little extra glow I need for the day and it's very easy to get on versus the other one ruined a brush of mine so screw you dude And that is because this one ruined another brush of mine. Uh, and once you get the product on the brush and you put it on your face, it like didn't color your face at all. Like it, I don't know what happens like from the brush to that, but it just it didn't look like it was even like brightening my face up. It just looked like I had bought a product, put some shit on my face. Mm -hmm then look like I wasn't wearing makeup at all. Now I know the idea to makeup is uh, less is more I think they say um, but you want to feel like it's working you don't want to feel like you're just putting stuff on and then your face looks the same at the end of the end of the time that you're done with your makeup and it just it's really um, like a nice color and it just like goes on your face like that and you rub it in and um, um, and it gives it a nice glow and it doesn't you don't ruin any brushes because you just use your fingertips so I hate eyeliner pencils what this one is from New York color and this one is from wet n wild now when I bought them I didn't hate eyeliner pencils I actually thought that they were great because they were 99 cents and they were nice and cheap well this is why because you can't sharpen them at all. I have my New York Color sharpener and it sit I bit I ruined my New York Color pencil on my New York Color sharpener because I pencil suck. When I put it on my eyes, it hurts because I'm I'm penciling my eye. I mean, I don't who came up with this idea? <sighs> And it comes with, oh jeez, it comes with a purple one and a green one and a black one, which I thought was really cool because, you know, black ones, it gets kind of old using black all the time. So it'd be nice to use a purple or I didn't really use the green, but I, I really used the purple, even though it was frustrating as hell. Um, and see, it's like, it's kind of like a crayon. But what do crayons do most other than color? you know they break and that is exactly what this did you I mean think about it when you're a kid and you were coloring you're coloring along and you're really happy and then all of a sudden your freaking crayon breaks in half and it, the whole world collapses well it's kind of like this eyeliner it you starting to you know color it across your eye and then you're halfway through and then all of a sudden you feel something on your eye and it's a big clump of purple crayon or in this case eyeliner um and then you're like oh all right fine and you rub it off right so then you go to color the rest of your eye and then it breaks again at the end of your eye and you're like what the fuck like i bought this eyeliner so i could put it on my eyes not so i could break it on my eyes And I love it. it. It 
as you can see, it, it does its job. Um, it doesn't make me feel irritated or break or, you know, hurt my eyes. I don't know if you can see it, but um, it's like really cakey and disgusting. Uh, and like it's like on my hands right now, but I, I tried it. I, I mean, I, I literally put a dent in one of these and just using it once because that's how much I needed of it and it still didn't get on my eye like I like my eyeshadows as you can see um my gold eyeshadow I like them really bright I want people to see my eyes pop and I thought with a purple it would look nice on my eyes but this just didn't work like the eyeshadows were too loose and I, I don't like loose powder loose powder makeup I like pressed powder makeup and so the pressed eyeshadow by elf is better than the NYX loose powder so I don't hate NYX products obviously because I use a NYX um, cream blush but I just didn't like their eyeshadows sorry guys better luck next time I guess like I said I use the elf's eyeshadows this is a glitter one um, it's not the one I use, but it's similar to the one I use. I use it off my eye palette. And I don't know if it's just the stuff that they use in it, or if it's the company. But I put this on my face, and all of a sudden my face starts burning. And I have to put other makeup on to cool my face down. I mean, I'm putting that other makeup on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But it... It's the only way that helps it cool down. Otherwise, I have to start going like this. So, I think this is going to be something that I throw away. Because I, I can't have my face keep burning up. It smells like cocoa. I wish you guys could smell it because that's how good it smells. Uh, but yeah, it goes on nice and smooth. It's not sticky like the other one. Um, I, you know, the other one I was like rubbing it in and than just for it to burn my face anyways. This doesn't burn my face. I guess e.l.f. is just one of those things that like some of the products work and then some of them don't. Uh, and maybe they work for other people and they just don't work for me. But it's this, I bought this $1.99 super glossy lip gloss at Target and it it's just like a pretty pink but it's so sticky. Like, and I realized that, um, like, lip gloss is sticky. But this is, like, not the same consistency. This is, like, you put it on and it's already, you know how, like, you feel when you put on lip gloss and then you have to reapply it? Like, what it feels like before you reapply it? It's kind of like a sticky, dry feeling. Well, you're not supposed to get that the second that you put the lip gloss on. You're supposed to get that feeling like maybe 10 to 15, like e even 20 minutes later. Like, you're not supposed to get it, like put it on and that's what you feel. Like, this is just, yeah, it feels like wallpaper paste. It's a little bit more expensive. That was only $1.99. This is probably like, I think it was like $12 or something like that. But it's so worth it. And this, if you like this color, it's in hippie pink. Uh, and it's beautiful. I love it. And it's like a nice, clean, consistent, glossy feeling. So it doesn't feel like I'm putting wallpaper paste on my face. It obviously looks like it's gotten a lot of use, but that's because I have a problem with throwing stuff away, even though it doesn't work. Uh, so let's put more of it on our face instead of throwing away the $15 item I bought. Yeah, it's $15. So I uh, would never buy this again because it doesn't work. And you're going to put so much of it on your fucking face that you look like a clown. Yeah. It's not supposed to look like that. 
Let me show you. This is the powder that I use. It's the Maybelline Shine Free Powder. The difference, this one's lighter and this one's cakier. Which one do you think's Neutrogena? Ding, ding, ding! And guess what? This one's like $15 and this one's like 7 so you could like save a lot of money if you just buy this one and you'd be getting a product that works. What a concept. They both suck equally. As you can see, look at this. It's freaking limping. Like, look at that. It's limping. And then this one's limping too. Um, but like the biggest problem is is that you put it on your face and like you're rubbing it in and you're actually making your face redder because you're rubbing it in so hard because it's so um what's the word lipsticky I guess I mean you're that's what you're getting you're getting a lipstick and it's very uh, sticky and dry if that makes sense it's like a dry stickiness it's nasty that does the correcting for the redness and then it does the actual concealer. Final one is just a preference. It's not really a bad product. Um, I just don't like loose powders so this is the Clinique um, loose powder and it was given to me by my mom but I just she likes mineral makeup. I don't like mineral makeup so that's it, it's you know, it worked for her, it just doesn't work for me. So, I don't have a um, another product to show you in place of that because the product that I would pick, I already showed you, which was the Maybelline Shine Free Powder. So, that is my 10 products that I would not repurchase and would, like, just say, screw you, dude, and have a nice day. So, yeah. Screw you, dude, and have a nice day. Baby, you light up my world like nobody else